Hey beauties, I'm vlogging today because I have a lot of fun behind the scenes like PR stuff to share. And also I did an Abercrombie haul. Like to know it sends out newsletters letting us know what sales are coming up and Abercrombie is coming up this weekend. And I don't think that I'll have enough time to like do a sit down try on video. So I wanna vlog that tomorrow. I've always said that I wanted to keep up like some sort of weekly vlog with you guys to just get more comfortable with y'all so y'all can get to know me on a more personal level than just like my sit down try on haul style videos but like halfway through doing those I always get imposter syndrome and then just drop off with it in 2024 we're gonna try and overcome the imposter syndrome anyways I'm rambling I got a FabFitFun box in and it's so good that I was inspired to make this vlog so I want to share with my YouTube YouTube girlies because I finally got a coupon code and an affiliate link for FabFitFun which I've been getting my box for like five years now and sharing it on Instagram stories and I love it so much. I did unbox this yesterday and I've already tried out one of the products so let me talk about it first. It is the Dibs Desert Island Duo Blush Bronzer Stick. I'm so excited that it was included in my FabFitFun box because I've been wanting to try this out forever. I love Courtney Shields. This shade is actually number two with Mood Boost Bronzer and I am wearing it today. I feel like it might be a little light for my skin tone, especially in the summer, but it is a good just like everyday light product where it doesn't look like my face is heavily bronzed. It's a more natural kind of vibe. So I do appreciate this color and then the blush color is gorgeous. It's called You Do You. So there it is on my hand. I'll go ahead and just swatch the bronzer on my hand since I did the blush. But there are the two shades. And honestly, it was so creamy. It blended out so easily. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my coupon code and direct link to sign up for FabFitFun in the description box below. It is an affiliate link and you will save 20% off your spring box if you decide to sign up, which the box retails for $59.99 and with the code, it goes down to 47. Next thing in the box, I might actually go ahead and try this on camera tonight and then undo it in the morning. But these are the Robe Curls Original Heatless Curling Headband. It has a wire running throughout the entire headband, so I feel like it might be easier to sleep in, more comfortable. It's not like a big poofy thing on your head. It does also come with the two little scrunchies, and it's a cute little champagne pinky color. Next item in the box is this Swell Salad Bowl Kit. It is a light pink, like, tin material. The top is plastic. And it comes with a little container for your salad dressing and a separator tray, which is really nice because if you prep your salads, you can keep your toppings off of the greens. That way your greens don't get all soggy. By the way, if you are an annual member, you can custom every single item in your box now. Or if you like the mystery of it, they do always have an option to include a mystery item instead of like knowing every single thing that you're gonna get. Sometimes it's fun. Next thing in here I'm very excited about as well. I'll definitely try this out on camera with y'all if you want me to. It's the AG Care Cloud Air Light Volumizing Mousse. And it says that you get instant volume and texture. It eliminates frizz, enhances shine, and it's a lightweight volumizing mo mousse infused with natural cornstarch and sugar cane extract. It's definitely something that I wouldn't have 
picked out myself so that's why I like FabFitFun sometimes because it kind of gives you products that you're not really aware about. This Aloe Magnesium Reset Spray is one of the other items that I was very much looking forward to. The ingredients right here on the front say magnesium, amla, arnica, and valerian aromatherapy soothing mist for body and mind. I know that magnesium is relaxing and helps you fall asleep better. It says on the back that Amla has vitamin C. It's also nature's most powerful antioxidant. Also, when you're doing your customization on FabFitFun, they always have a read more option. So I was reading into this a little more and it said that you can actually use this spray on your skin to soothe sore muscles, which that's like the main reason I was so excited about this because I have been trying to work out and lift weights a little bit more this year and I've been sore a lot and it's not fun. That's like the worst part of working out for me is having sore muscles because if I'm too sore, I'm like, I don't wanna do anything. I don't wanna move. I'm just in pain. So I'm excited to see if this actually is gonna help me, which I did have a pretty good workout today and I can kind of feel it in my legs. So when I go to bed tonight, I'm definitely trying this out. And then the last thing in my box was this Living proof dry shampoo. I already know that I love this. Low key, this is my favorite dry shampoo. It's so good, but I don't buy it a lot because I feel like it's a pretty expensive. I mean, me personally, I'm kind of cheap. You know, I shop Walmart and I don't like to splurge on things, but this is totally worth it. And now that I think about it, I've never had to pay full price for this because I do always get it in my FabFitFun box. I do actually have other PR that I wanted to share, starting with this Pacifica box. I love Pacifica. I feel like it's such a good high-end feeling brand at a drugstore price so that makes me love it even more this time they sent a new product this is their sunny glow bronzing drops they have vitamin c and kakuta plum it says use alone or with your foundation or hydration oh I thought this was like a tanning drop. So actually, I'm even more excited for this now. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty glow. I'm excited for that. They also included their Glow Baby Serum. It has a sit... I, I'm not going to read that. So it has... Oh. I'm reading it in a different language. Oh my God. It has glycolic acid and vitamin C. Actually, I think I have gone through a bottle of this before and I really loved it. I also got in some Smashbox the other day. I think they're also sending me a foundation, but this is just like their introduction package to new influencers. So they sent the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. Their super fan fanned out mascara, which I always have a hard time trying out new mascaras that brands send me because they always send me the non-waterproof and my lashes are so straight that I need waterproof to keep them up. That's the key. If you have straight lashes, try a waterproof mascara it'll like dry with your lashes up. Normally, I'll just try these on my bottom lashes when I have lash extensions. And then last thing I was actually very excited for, it's their Sheer to Stay Color Tint Lip and Cheek. This is the color Wisteria. How many of y'all watched Desperate Housewives? <laughs> on Wisteria Lane. I definitely did, but I never finished it, actually. I've always wanted to go back and finish it, but I just haven't. I just put that right on top of the bronzer. I didn't even think about it, but that's a really pretty color. I think I might just try it out tomorrow. That's really pretty, oh my gosh. That would be pretty on the lips too. And I did also get in some long comb, which I love me some long comb. That's the only makeup my mom wears. <laughs> She's a long comb girl. I've tried out a couple of these items. The first one is the Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. 
I actually really liked this. It's a lot closer to my skin color though, so I might have to layer it with like a brightening concealer, but it was pretty good. And then the Tint Adol Care and Glow Foundation. It has SPF 27 in it. I got another Juicy Tube. This is the color Spring Fling. I keep these in all my handbags. They're Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. I actually needed a new liner. That's why I don't have any on right now. Their Monsoor Big Mascara. New bottle of Genifique, which I love. My favorite serum. That's all the packages that I have today. I have to take the boys to their little baseball tryouts. Um, I'll be back a little bit later when I do the heatless curls because I've been wanting to do heatless curls for a while and my hair is pretty straight. It's like day two hair. I just didn't feel like doing it today. So I put this headband on, which I think is pretty cute. Okay, I'm back. Let's go ahead and try this out. Oh, I probably should wet my hair. So first I'm just going to use a little bit of water and then i'm also gonna use this wella ultimate repair miracle hair rescue this is the step three the leave-in conditioner little on my ends and then i'm gonna brush my hair out i hope it doesn't make my bangs look crazy okay so does it need to be parted in the middle? Not the most perfect part, but it's fine. I do have a clip here. really secure I also feel like I could take this out we're about to take the boys to school so it's time for me to take these out I would say it stayed pretty well and it was actually pretty comfortable to sleep in so let's see Okay, wow. I'll just <laughs> really curly. And yeah. my bangs are a little crazy, but it's fine. We gotta go to school drop off. At least I don't have that headband in my hair still. And we'll see how it falls throughout the day. Not bad though. What do we think? I'll have to try and style it a little better later. I'm almost ready to do this Abercrombie haul, which I'm very excited for. I just steamed it and hung it up. But first we gotta take care of this hair. And I did end up showering with it. I just put a shower cap on. I was noticing that my bangs didn't really do well. I might have to do a side part, but I don't know. Maybe I just need some practice. I think I'm just going to go in with some dry shampoo and try to figure out the bang situation. I'm going to grab a brush and just brush it out. Okay. I'm really liking it with the side part, but 
I do feel like I need some of this got to be powerful volumizing styling powder. This just gives my hair a little bit of grit at the roots. That way it adds lots of volume and I don't have to tease it. It's really good if you have fine hair and you wanna plump it up a little more. I'm just gonna add a little bit on this side too, just to get it to stay in place. And definitely at the crown of my head. Work that in there really well. Try and get rid of this dry shampoo. Actually, I'm not mad at the bangs anymore. They kind of look good with the side part. And then just adding in some hairspray. This is my favorite one by Pacifica. I actually need a re-up on this soon. Okay, I might be a heatless curls girl now. <laughs> What do we think? How does it look in the back? You gotta let me know. Oh yeah, I meant to put on earrings. These have been my go-to earrings lately. They came in an eight pack from Amazon. I just really love this style. It's like the perfect everyday size. I shared all the rest of them in my Amazon accessories video, but I'll leave the link to it in the description box. I have these two little Ana Luisa little dainty chains, so I think I'm just gonna add these real quick. Okay, all my jewelry's on. Now we can get into this Abercrombie haul, which I did end up getting three tops and three pairs of jeans, so I split them up into little outfits. I'm also filming this for TikTok, so if I'm looking down here, it's because I'm looking at my phone camera. But here is outfit number one. Let's start with the top, because I really love this like higher neckline. The fabric's also really nice too. It's got like a really pretty sheen to it, and it's ribbed, super stretchy. I like that it's long line, but I think if I was styling this, I would definitely just do a little tuck all the way around and it looks super cute like that. It also has these like details right here on the side where I feel like it kind of visually brings in my waist. And then the jeans, these are the 90s relaxed high rise. I got everything in a size 28, tops all in a medium. Um, but these are a 28 short and the color is a little bit darker than I expected. I kind of expected more of like a cream-ish color, but honestly, I'm not mad at it. The fit is cute in the back. The length is perfect. I could wear flats with these, um, tennis shoes. I could even wear a cute little heel in the springtime. And I think it looks good with this white like cream top uh, fit is really nice and I definitely feel like they run true to size so let's get into the next outfit okay outfit number two I'm really loving this top it's super soft I really like how lightweight it is as well and it did come with a matching tank top underneath I love this neckline <laughs> clearly both tops I got have the same neckline um, but I like that it's sort of sheer. It is also a long line top, which is cute. I need to cut this tag off, but I would probably tuck this one in all the way around as well. I just realized that these jeans are the same exact style as the last ones, which they're the 90s relaxed high rise, except they didn't have a short in these. So I grabbed a regular length and they're definitely a little long. Like I could probably keep them and wear them with platforms or wedges or heels in the springtime, but I'm kind of thinking about just cutting off maybe like an inch. That way I can wear these like more every day because they are a relaxed, super comfy style. I do like the fit. I feel like these are even more relaxed than the last pair but it could just be because i have that extra on the bottom i don't know because it definitely looks like it has a different fit right either way i still really love them i love the color and they're super comfy mid weight style denim i'm really into this top it's so soft and comfortable 
Oh my gosh, how cute is this little cropped sweatshirt? It says Coffee Club New York City Manhattan and it's so incredibly soft. I did grab my regular size medium and I feel like it has a nice little oversized fit. It's so soft on the inside and I love the marled gray, super cute. I feel like I just have to roll it over and it already is perfect. You could do a little front tuck if you wanted. I love that, it's so relaxed and casual. I'm not gonna lie, I have already worn these jeans out. I just love them so much. They are the ultra, ultra high rise straight ankle. Babe, can you come here? Yeah. Let's just have my husband read the tag on the back. Can you come in here and read me? Read me your pants? Yeah. You're <laughs> crazy, I'm gonna put my hoodie on. <laughs> Crumbs all over me. Oh my I'm God. looking like a hot. Hot mess. Get it together. I'm a hot snack. <laughs> um, they are the Abercrombie and Fitch, the ankle straight ultra high rise. Uh, it says curve love, 28 over six. It doesn't have an R or an S after the six? No. Okay, so I think these are regular length, but I like the fit. What do you think? You like them? Oh my god, this is not oh. your video. This is my oh. video. Here, yeah, let me spin you around. You like them? I'm gonna show you how much I like them. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate your help. You're welcome, baby. No, I think these are actually a regular length, which I'm only 5'1", by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. They do hit right at the ankle and I think they'll be cute with sandals, they'll be cute with tennis shoes, and I love these. I love that they have no rips or distressing on them. I have another pair in this style, I think, but it's a size down and they're definitely standing jeans, so um, yeah, I'm happy with these. I'm happy with my whole Abercrombie haul, honestly. Again, they are having a huge sale this weekend, I think it's 40% off and then plus another 20 or something crazy like that. So go check these out on my like to know it. <laughs> okay, TikTok is filmed. But yeah, I think, I think I might end up just staying in this outfit today, honestly, because I'm so cozy. We are actually about to head out and upgrade our phones. My camera legit was not working. Like, it's just a black screen, which is annoying. So I'm just gonna pay the like $50 or whatever it is to upgrade. But I wanted to show you the accessories. So I ended up going with this little bucket bag. It is from the gate and it's honestly my everyday bag right now. So I'll leave the link in the description box cause it's really good. It's got like a faux suede on the inside. By the way, let me know if you want me to do like my favorite DH gate bags. Um, and I can include that in a vlog, but I did end up just going with these lug sole boots with these straight ankle jeans. So there's the little fit and we're out. Oh, and I did just get in these sunglasses from DH Gate too, and they're also very good. So I'll link these down below as well. I just got the kids to bed and it's like super bright in here, but I wanted to show you what my hair is looking like. It's almost 10. I think I first took them out around like 7.15 this morning and it's currently 9.47, almost 10. So I'd say these heatless curls were a win and I do actually really like this. It stayed in place really well. So I will be using this more often. I'll be filming a Amazon basics video actually tomorrow. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss more vlogs like this and also affordable fashion hauls because I will be posting 
the Amazon Basics haul right after this. So stick around, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.